In Yakima, Washington, the palliative care and end-of-life services have actually given us an opportunity to have conversations in the community about people who have life-threatening illnesses, um, people who are receiving hospice services, and how do we talk about that and how do we plan for end-of-life? The work around end-of-life services um, really involves a team of people. And we're very fortunate that we have a community of volunteers who really have made the difference for us. Um, they've not only questioned us, um, they've allowed us to think differently, to plan differently, but they also have provided the support that we've needed to implement programs. So our volunteer workforce is amazing, both in planning and implementation of all of our services. I think I'm the most proud of um, the way that we've been able to respond to patient and family needs. Um, from a personal experience, um, I personally received hospice services for my family members and that gave me um, an opportunity to see um, what, op what greatness there was in the team coming together. I'm now a hospice volunteer and a board member and hopefully I'm taking that to the next level. So I'm proud not only of the community and what they've put together as far as the services, but I'm proud of what we've been able to look at for the future and um, make sure that we meet the needs of families and patients. The palliative care and hospice services that we are growing in Yakima have added a much needed element of response to families, particularly. We have been able to respond to the needs of families as well as the patient. And I think that's the element that um, we have worked the hardest on and that we are most proud of. Yakima Valley Memorial Hospital, in adding Cottage in the Meadow, a, an inpatient hospice facility to its family of services, enabled there to be a stronger continuum from really the, a life-limiting illness through the end of life. So it impacted our family of services by broadening it, by, um, by helping our employees, our physicians, our patients understand that there is a whole continuum of care. So it's had a great deal of impact, um, particularly for persons who have experienced the whole continuum of care. One of the things that I think um, made us um, more successful than we could have ever, ever expected to be was the, the involvement of the faith community. We, we, had, um, we had an extraordinary uh, hospice chaplain, we had extraordinary leadership from the faith community, and, and I think the all faith involvement through multiple congregations and multiple faiths um, has, has made our programs very, very special.